Hello everyone and welcome to my new GIMP tutorial. We are going to be doing some Twilight fan art. Um, I've received a lot of requests from people asking me to go ahead and do this so um, I decided to uh, oblige and I'm going to uh, um, show you how to do some of this artwork. Um, so uh, you can just go on Google find any image of Twilight. It works for pretty much any image and uh, what we're going to be doing today is finding a way uh, let's see where my uh, where did I put that? Um, we're gonna find a way to make Twilight um, even gayer. Um, so here we have a rainbow. Um, so what we're gonna do is select the white area of the rainbow, and then we're gonna go to select invert. And I did that with the magic wand tool, just so you know. And then select invert. So you now you have the rainbow selected, and say edit copy. Perfect. Um, don't save on that. Um, go edit, paste, and there's the rainbow. So very clean, very well done. Um, I I love this this rainbow. This is perfect. And okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this. I think screen mode is the best. It's kind of bright. It doesn't really blend in as well as I'd like it to. So dissolve might work a little better. Let's try multiply. Multiply is a little better, but it kind of has, I don't know, kind of a. It's a little dark, so we might we might have to play around with some of the. Aha! All right, that's that's kind of perfect. Gain extract, but we don't want the rainbow to be over the character. So what we're gonna do is zoom in to um, Edward here, and we're gonna go ahead and get our eraser tool. Um, let's bring up our uh, our size a little bit here um because the bigger the better um and we're going to just start erasing the rainbow around his head and um he's got a pretty big head um and just be really really careful with this um cuz if you erase the wrong portion there we go it'll come out looking really sucky uh, <clears throat> go over here to your brush select feather and go through and uh, when you're erasing you don't want a uh, let's turn off our selection here um, I don't know why it's still selected select none I guess it's not it's not letting me okay well whatever um, now we're gonna do the same thing for our other characters here so just go through and uh, use the feather erase tool because it, it kind of it's a lot better it doesn't have those really sharp edges that this this one does so I kind of messed up a little bit here so I can go back and fix it um, but we're gonna go through and just erase around the characters heads to get the rainbow to be behind them and that that brings their gayness out to the front which is where you want it to be um, Bella her hair a little bit here this guy Mr. Mean he looks pretty tough and uh, yeah almost done and I'm gonna show you one other technique that's really important to know if you wanna make this kind of fan art alright perfect now the edges down here get rid of them so there's no sharp edges okay one last step we're gonna take this layer here uh, go um, filters blur Gaussian blur and we're just gonna blur it a little bit so that it kind of blends in and so there you have it the um, I removed the mask and so now we have a very well done um, fan art uh, for Twilight so this is really good so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save it uh, as Twilight true colors and hit save here um, we're gonna actually put it on my desktop here go to JPEG um, and that's that the, uh, the completed image we're gonna do one more quick thing though um, I wanna show you how to do um, another uh, image here so I'm going to say file open um, I have another Twilight um, picture I downloaded. So here we go. Um, here's the next image we're going to be working on. We're going to make this one uh, a little gayer, too. 
Wait. Wow. Okay, that's... Alright, that's gay enough. We don't have to touch this at all. Um, the wolf kind of... Kind of ruins it a little bit, but, um... Yeah, it's gay enough. Um, put a shirt on. Jeez. Uh, so thank you for watching uh, my GIMP tutorial. I'm going to go take a puke. And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. So thank you for watching.